Since 1963, ATAS International has been a leading manufacturer of sustainable building envelope technology. In addition to their full line of metal wall cladding and accessories, ATAS offers an expansive selection of metal roof systems, including Dutch Seam, a continuous standing seam metal roof panel with an integral seam. In this video, you'll learn how to install the Dutch Seam Ridge Cap. The type of ridge being installed in this video is for a non-venting application. Our installation starts by adhering a butyl tape sealant to the pre-notched Z-closure. Using the peak as our guide, we'll measure down to find the appropriate location for the pre-notched Z-closure. This distance will vary based on the slope of the roof. Please refer to the Dutch seam installation details on our website for specifics. A series of fasteners will then be installed to hold the Z-closures in place. These fasteners also positive fasten the panels to keep them from sliding down the roof. The number of screws will vary based on the width of the panels. A minimum of three fasteners are used on an 11 inch panel and up to five on a 19 inch panel. These fasteners are critical in controlling thermal movement of the panel and creating a weather tight seal, as well as providing proper fixing of the panel when seam mounted attachment clamps are utilized for solar panels or snow retention systems. After installing the pre-notched Z-closure, a bead of high quality sealant is added to its vertical legs and over top of the seams of the panels. A neoprene closure can also be installed as an additional weatherproofing measure, specifically where individual Z-closures are used rather than a pre-notched Z-closure. Prior to installing the ridge cap, we will notch and remove the ridge cap's hems where it will overlap the gable trim. Finally, the ridge cap can now be installed by snapping it over the metal Z's. Pop rivets are used to fasten the ridge cap. It is important to install the pop rivets on the exterior portion of the Z closure to ensure that if the fastener does leak, it will only leak onto the roof panels and not into or behind the trims. To allow for proper expansion and contraction, it is important to note that pop rivets should not be installed on any overlapping sections of the ridge cap, but rather on the individual sections only. Be sure to visit ATAS.com to view our unmatched product selection.